I wanted to just do a fast review on this micro floor drive pump here by Lazine. This is the micro floor drive HV, HV for high volume. I took this pump during my bike packing trip in New Mexico over the Valley Cadera for four days. And um, I used it on my 27 and a half plus size three inch wheel set. This is uh, the WTB KOM tough rims and I have mounted to it a Ranger 3.0 tire. And so this pump is super awesome. It's one of my newer mountain bike pumps. And uh, what I like most about it is that it's so fast and lightweight and compact. I can put it in my backpack. I put it inside my frame bag when I was on the trail and it has a gauge on it too. So it shows you how much PSI is gonna be inside your tire. So this is 27 and a half wheel and uh, you can pump that up to pretty high volume. I'm just gonna put like 30 PSI in it to show you guys from flat to inflated, how long it takes to do and how much e how easy it is to do it too. And what's cool about the pump is that it just uh, attaches right to the threaded mount that's on the pump itself. So I'll just go ahead and just detach that by unscrewing it. And it also has like a nice foot peg right there. So and it freely moves around. So let's go ahead and pump up this tire here and uh, let's get this thing back to inflation. Just gonna show you guys by simply undoing the valve stem. Make sure that's flat. And what I'm going to do is just set the pump on the floor right there and just put my foot over it. And then I'm gonna screw this into the valve core. Move this over to the side. It's a little wet out here today too. We had a pretty bad rainstorm earlier but it looks like everything's back to square one. All right, so easy enough to screw inside. I like to put the valve all the way down and you can see how flat that is. And I'll pump it right here so you can kind of see what's going on. Get a nice grip on the handle. And you can see that tire is already inflating pretty fast. Let's see how we are right now. Let's keep that going. A little under 20 bars of pressure. Let's pump that up to about uh, 30 PSI. We're at 20 PSI right now. Just a little more. This is actually really easy to pump too. It doesn't take much effort at all. And that looks about good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew the valve core. The valve connector adapter right from the pump. And tighten that valve stem. So it doesn't lose any air. That's pretty inflated right there. So now I'm gonna set this aside right there. And to put this back, it's pretty simple. First, I like to put the peg back up. That's the foot peg right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and screw the adapter back into its body. And simply wrap the hose over the handle. And that's pretty much it. So I definitely recommend this pump. As you can see, the tire is fully inflated now. And it didn't take much at all in terms of effort to do that. Uh, a lot of people use road pumps for mountain bike tires. For plus size bikes, it's hard to find a really good pump. I definitely recommend the Lazine Micro Floor Drive HV. Make sure you get the HV version. You can get them without the gauge or you can get it with a gauge. I got the one that has the gauge on it, so I like it a lot because it really does tell you like how much pressure you have in your tire. And so, and it's really, really easy to pump up too. So definitely recommend it. And also it's very stylish too. It has a nice anodized aluminum finish and it has that nice gold adapter and it's also straighter compatible. So all you gotta do is to get the straighter 
This is a press the valve. All you gotta do is simply unscrew that adapter. And you can see inside here, you have the straighter mount and you have the pressed mount. So what you wanna do, if you're using Prester, just screw it back into the Prester side and put it back inside the body to the pump. Make sure that's nice and snug. Put the hose over it and voila. Nice, lightweight, micro pump. You can just throw it in your backpack. You can throw it on your frame bag. You can also use the adapter that comes dedicated with Lazine's pump and mount it to your bike. If you like the pump, hit a link in the bottom of my description in the video here. You can link to it for a purchase and also uh, leave your questions below if you have any other pumps that you like. I used the Crank Brothers pump before this one and unfortunately it didn't work with my valve stem. So depending on your valve stems that you use, some of them work, some of them don't. It's like a really a hit or miss. But this pump is definitely solid, like it a lot. So definitely purchase the pump if you dig it. I like it a lot. One of the best, best pumps I've had. I've ha also had a road bike Lazine pump that I had lost. So I might have to replace it with one similar to this. So really psyched on this pump. Uh, like, subscribe to the video if you find it useful. And if you uh, want to see more videos, definitely subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. So visit my website at manualpedal.com. We'd love for you guys to tune in to all my bicycle travel stories. And if you're local here in New York City, don't forget to also check out my tourism company, Bike Tours by Manual Pedal. We'd love for you all to come on a ride and book a tour with me. We'll go for a nice scenic ride outside of New York City and also inside the parks here. Such beautiful areas to ride here. So subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys all next time. Take care.